Hello, everyone. I pray that God is blessing us. I pray that God is always there for us. I pray that God always protect us while we are sleeping on the road or whatever or whatever else like that. Give people what they don't deserve. And you may say, Kevin, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by give people what they don't deserve? Inside of our little minds, yes, little minds, we may look at a person's behavior and say, hey, this person doesn't deserve blessings from me. I mean, um, good things from me. Maybe that is the same thing, blessings, good things. I don't know. This person doesn't deserve good things from me. This person is doing this to me. This person is doing that to me. That person deserves revenge. <laughs> Give them what they don't deserve. Am I telling you to invite your enemy, every enemy you have, over for tea? <laughs> Excuse me. I am not telling you that. Ooh, I am not telling you that. I'm not saying to let everyone over your home. I'm not telling you that you have to buy Michael Jordan shoes for all of your enemies. That would not be bad though. But give them what they don't deserve. Let's say you have 10 enemies and let's say five of your enemies, you did like you decide to give them $100 each or you decide to go to IHOP and give them some pancakes and stuff like that like give them what they don't deserve I hope this is making sense now and you may say Kevin you know why should I give my enemy something they don't deserve well if you read the Bible don't the Bible say to bless our enemies? Don't it say that? Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. I think I like it better now that I am giving more scriptures when I speak about things. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you. So I believe this goes like who are people that may curse you? Maybe regular people, witches. Yes, we have to bless witches, right? But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you. So I believe witches, I guess some of them, I guess, can curse people. I think anyone can curse you, honestly. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. So people that hate you <laughs> do good to them. Kevin, that doesn't make any sense, okay? And pray for them which despitefully use you. Okay and persecute you so in essence all around if someone is your enemy they may have done something that pertains to that scripture there so give your enemies what they don't deserve if i am saying that right i forget what i said in the beginning but give your enemies what they don't deserve. I hope all of this makes sense. In this world, 
whether you know it or not. And I thank God for it, even though I believe it hurt me so much in the past. We reap what we sow. Maybe it still hurts me till this day. I don't know. Perhaps. Maybe so. So if we do wrong, wrong will come back to us. If we do good, good will come to us. How can I say I am looking for God to do good for me while I am doing so much wrong? I am doing so much evil. I am stealing from people. I am stealing from people. I am lying to so many people. I am cursing people. But at the same time, I am expecting God's blessings. Yes, I believe God does reign on the just as well as the unjust, but I believe there is a price to pay when you choose to do wrong, when you choose to be wicked, when you choose to do evil. Give your enemies what they don't deserve. Am I telling you I give fruit and vegetables to all of my enemies? No. Am I telling you I give rides to all of my enemies? No. But, but, to some of my enemies, I believe I have, I have done good toward them. I gave them, hello, I gave them what I felt like they don't deserve. Doesn't matter if they appreciate it, it doesn't matter. Because am I doing it for them or am I doing it for God? I believe for much of it or all of it or part of it, whatever, I believe in the essence I was doing it for God. In essence. So I believe God took note of it, whether my enemy took note of it or not. I hope this makes sense. We have to show love even though someone may show us contempt, may show us hate, may show us foolishness. We have to show love. I know for myself, I ask God for mercy. I sure do. Maybe I don't always say the word, but in what I pray for, in essence, I believe it is asking for mercy. So how can I ask God for mercy if I don't show mercy to others? How hypocritical would that be? I'm asking God to do this for me and do that for me, which I do. But at the same time, I am so cold hearted to people who do me wrong to where I don't want to do anything for them. That is wrong, man. If you look, for instance, in order to be forgiven, you have to forgive. What you put out I believe you would get back. I believe this is how this world is ran. You get back what you put in. Actually, I believe you get back more in some cases or maybe many cases, maybe all cases, I don't know. But in essence, I believe you get back what you put in. So how can I give you sour grapes and spoiled meat and get back, uh, you know, very, very good things every time. I don't think it works like that. Give your enemies what they don't deserve. Like, hey, this person did me very wrong. And it makes no sense to the earthly mind, I guess, to give them this, but... 
hey, I am going to do it anyway because of Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. I know I ask God for mercy, so I need to be merciful. I need to show mercy. It is a must. How can I be out there doing wrong, doing wrong, doing wrong, and expect everything in my life to go perfectly? It is not going to happen. I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. May God bless you all.